So this is just a quick video for the Wicked Pecker Off-Road heater uh, for the second battery kit. Uh, this is to fit the heater in with a second battery. This doesn't have a second battery in it for right now, but just wanted to show you real quick uh, to pull this radiator fan shroud out to mount the adapter. You just have two bolts here, two bolts here, two bolts that go down through the bottom from the front here and then you pop off the coolant overflow lines for the uh the tank and the radiator and then you pop off the plug for the fan and the plug for the headlights and then this entire fan shroud and fan assembly comes out uh, and don't lean it too far so you don't spill all the coolant in the tank. And this is the adapter. Uh, as you can see, it goes up above the shroud here, fits all around. And this is where the hose is going to come off um, and go down. Uh, but it's easier if you pop that shroud off so you can get these four zip ties on here. And it makes the make it nice and secure and, um as you can see here there is an adapter that goes up to the radiator right behind the fan and it hooks to this 90 degree elbow which goes down in front of the brake lines for the i4 wheel drive and then a four inch hose 90s back to the blower motor. Uh, from there, and it's all just kind of loosely in there right now, uh, but from there, the adapter, and then you can run back to your heater ducting, uh, either up in the dash um, to the footwells or for the four-seater back to the back, uh, for the back seats. And that gives you clearance for the second battery tray. Now this hose here is silicone, so this is where the second battery tray uh, mount goes down. So if it does touch a little bit, it's not a big deal, it'll just push in. Uh, it depends on which battery tray you have. Um, there's many out there on the market and I couldn't uh, get every single one of them to try. But it only goes down to right here somewhere in here above these brake lines. Um, so if you look straight down this, you may have, have to push it in just a hair, but I said it's reinforced silicone uh, four inch hose, so it'll push in just fine. But that uh, goes up to the adapter uh, on the front. The adapter can also be used for a lift kit um, some of the lift kits, uh, have a strut tower brace that goes across here underneath and connects the upper shock mounts. Um, this adapter brings it down a little bit lower than where the motor normally mounts. Um, so you can put a small, a small section of four inch silicone, reinforced silicone hose. Uh, there's the reinforce hose and you can put that on the adapter and then slide the motor on it uh, to adapt it for a uh, lift kit and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is the uh, fan shroud and fan removed from the talon uh, to show you exactly how this goes down and mounts to the motor and the top but this captures more of the air um, so it directs it from a eight inch wide piece into a four inch hose and then the hose has another adapter here uh, that turns it and it also pulls it down to three inches wide and or three inches front to back and wider there uh, so it elongates the hose out but makes it 
uh, five and a half inches wide. So the four inch silicone hose stretches around it perfectly. Couple hose clamps, um, but that's to give clearance for the uh, battery box for the second battery kit. And here's where the hose may have to push back a little bit, um, depending on what kind of kit you have. But you can see even with this out, it flexes back just fine. And it's a really thick hose, so you don't have to worry about it uh, damaging the hose. But that's how it sits in there. And again, all this is just sitting there, so it's not exactly right. Um, but then the motor goes down. Um, the only thing you really have to worry about is when the hose comes out, it comes down and runs through right here between the frame rail and the steering U-joint. You wanna put a zip tie around there or some kind of a, a strap clamp um, to pull that and make sure it stays tight to this side and stays away from the U-joint and the steering shaft. Um, there's clearance in there for it. Uh, stays an inch and a half two inches away from the steering shaft and goes through this little hole here. Uh, and then as you saw before, the motor sits right back here and then you can run to the, to the dash wherever there's plenty, plenty of room back in, in the tunnel for hoses.